So why masters in education technology overall uh, is what we have brainstormed and come up with is to provide critical understanding of this that I've already said. And also in the global and Indian education, the NEP, uh, the national education policy supporting education technology in a big way, integrated with pedagogy and curriculum and uh, in higher education as well as K-12, and also the COVID-19 pandemic, which has brought so much in the forefront, uh, not only about the need, but about the need to uh, diversely uh, design and implement education technology, understand also ethical perspectives uh, in the area, uh, create professionals and also we have been realizing for many years now that there has been a big gap in the understanding and implementation of education technology between academicians, policymakers, industry partners, NGOs and organization. And I think this program wants to really bring these professionals uh, together and delve deeper into the concepts, research, uh, practice, and issues in our country in the area of education technology, and try to bridge these gaps uh, across uh, different uh, stakeholders. Uh, also provide academic credential because very few programs in the country are providing academic credential. They are either technology or focusing very much into one area of education technology or they are education and creating some kind of a specialization. But here we are trying to give a more robust, rigorous program, giving academic credential and creating career pathways for existing professionals uh, in the area of education.